Welcome back online for video dedicated to Amazon number six. We will be working with image called Meb. Uh, where is this image? Meb here. And we will try to um, duplicate this image. So image. And the idea would be to apply different filters, so process, smooth, okay, so this is this image, and then uh, we will duplicate again this image, duplicate, and we are asked to uh, process sharpen. Okay. And we will duplicate again this image, this image twice. Uh, process filter mean with a, a radius of one point five. Okay, so this is this image. And one last image, one last duplication. And this is for process filter Gaussian blur with also 1.5. Okay, uh, so this is the kind of uh, images that we that we have after filtering. So we have seen that sharpening was uh, close to something that would enhance the uh, edges while all the other uh, filters were somehow um, uh, more uh, smoothing the image. So uh, now if we try to have the histogram of this image, let me select this one, analyze histogram. This is what I have here. And let's take this one, which is clearly more enhanced in terms of edges. And this is what I have here. Yeah. So globally, the shape is very similar. And here again, another histogram. And here again, globally, the shape is very similar, a little bit less uh, discrete. And it has been smooth, so you have many more uh, gray levels. But the global shape of the histogram is changing. So when we do uh, this kind of filtering, we are not fundamentally changing the shape of this program. This is local processing, but uh, we are changing the, uh, the local inf uh, information. Yeah. So histogram is maybe not the best tool to compare uh, what has been done on each of these uh, filter. So to compare, uh, to, to, to be able to, to understand what was the difference, what we are proposed to do in question number four is to calculate the difference between original and filter image. So we know how to calculate uh, differences. We're going to take MEB and MEB2 and make a difference. Subtract here. And we create a 32-bit image. And we see here the difference. So clearly, the difference between the sharpened image and the uh, the original image are located at the border of the image. So this is clearly where uh, the uh, the image uh, the, clearly where there is a difference. Let's redo this with a, a smooth version. So we I duplicate it again, and I will uh, process it with a Gaussian blur. Okay. And if I do again a difference between the two uh, images, maybe one, okay, this is what I got. And here again, the difference is on the edges of the object. So the blur version, so if you take the original version minus the blur version, what you have is a small detail. So we have blurred somehow the noise, uh, if there was noise on the image, but we have lost all the tiny details of the uh, image. So let's see uh, uh, what happens now if we add uh, some of this uh, impulsive uh, uh, noise. So 
Now, if we uh, de uh, duplicate again this image, we will take one where we will uh, add noise. Noise. Okay. And we will add salt and pepper noise, so this kind of, uh, of noise. Uh, and uh, we duplicate this image, so we're going to uh, make the same here. Duplicate. And we're going to try to denoise this image, so uh, which is not Gaussian noise, but uh, salt and pepper and noise, with a filter called Gaussian blur here. So we are asked with a radius of 1.5. So this is what we have. And what happens if we do it with a filter, which is a median filter with the same size, 1.5. And this is what we have here. So we clearly see that when we uh, denoise uh, salt and pepper uh, with a Gaussian noise, we just blur the noise, uh, the outlier, while here we completely remove the outlier, but also blur a bit the image, but uh, without blurring the errors which are withdrawn with the median filter. So uh, this is it for this uh, hands-on, and see you in the next video.